my name's Tamika Smith and I'll be reviewing the book Luke's Way of Looking written by Nadia Wheatley and illustrated by Matt Otley. In this book there's a boy named Luke who takes an art class with Mr Barraclough. Within this art class Luke displays a lot of creativity in his art which is not to the teacher's standard as Mr Barraclough prefers uniformity. During the story Luke discovers an art gallery which piques his creativity and he soon returns to class to express these ideas through his art more. This picture book is considered a postmodern story as it is a metaphor for discovering individuality and the social judgments surrounding it. Within Mr. Wheatley's writing the story, many language and literary features were included. Throughout the beginning of the story, the author has Mr. Barraclough's character use intense saying and action verbs such as he screamed, he yelled, he tore, he broke. These verbs instill tension between the art teacher and Luke while showing Mr. Barraclough's character's personality. It was also noted that a repeated sentence structure of one compound sentence followed by one simple sentence was enacted throughout most of the text to provide a rhythm to the story. For example, this page reads, One Friday, Mr. Barraclough told the class to paint what they see through the window. Luke used his imagination. The use of repetition and rhetorical questions were constantly appearing throughout the text. For example, what's wrong with you boy, and he said nothing, was repeatedly used. This was done to show Mr Barraclough's authority and enact the reader to feel emotions for how Luke was being treated. When Luke discovers the art gallery, he describes it as looking like an ancient palace. This is the use of a simile. Here this was done to show that the palace has some level of importance and glory. Also, while Luke was at the gallery, Wheatley used a metaphor to describe how he was feeling. The metaphor reads, just when Luke felt that he could burst with happiness, he found himself flying into the sunshine. The use of this allows the reader to paint a visual picture and relate to Luke's emotions with a familiar feeling. While language and literary features are important in the story, it would not be complete without illustrations. The illustrations of the book were done by Matt Otley. The illustrations work in cohesion with the text on each page to evoke emotion in the reader and allow them to follow Luke's emotional journey throughout the story. The visual aspects used in the book were colour, texture, shadowing and positioning. Regarding the colour and texture, the illustrator chose to begin the story with little to no colour and a sketch-like texture, as seen here in the first image. And as the story progressed, colour was only added to Luke's artwork. Here the texture began to look more smooth. This was referred to as salience, which is a technique that is used to draw the reader's eyes to the important parts of the image. Once Luke visited the art gallery, the book had an explosion of colour and the texture moved to a smoother, crisper finish. Even on the last page, Mr. Barraclough's character went from grayscale to having colour to his suit and skin. The use of colour created a narrative of Luke's self-discovery and the changes to his emotions. The use of shadowing and positioning worked in unison throughout this story. This is seen when Mr. Barraclough is depicted in the front of the image while having a shadow that arches over the student standing in the corner. The placement of Mr. Barraclough and his facial expressions demand the reader's attention while the shadow placement illustrates his authority. It is seen that as the story progresses, Luke's shadow grows taller while Mr. Barraclough begins to shrink. It is depicted in the last page that Mr. Barraclough's shadow is now one with Luke's. Some may say his shadow has created a set of angel wings. This represents that Mr. Barraclough has realised and accepted Luke's individuality. I also think it's safe to say that Otley used a great amount of salience throughout the whole book as each image had a different focal point, typically was highlighted in colour. Overall, Luke's way of looking is filled with language, literary and visual features that work cohesively to create a great story. I would definitely recommend.